crafts. Okay, today is going to be storage. What type of storages I use, what type is the best storages for me. Um, I'm ranking up 1 to 10. What have I used? Um, do I like it? Do I not like it? Whatever. So, we're going to go with this one. This was a fell, <clears throat> a fell storage solution I was coming up with. It holds a lot. It's just these tubes. When you slide them in and off, and you have the like sticker, I could have write on them. It would probably be better. But when you put the sticker on, the sticker kept kept coming off, and then it stopped being sticky. So this one I do not like. I give it a one. Don't like it. Don't recommend it. Um. Unless if you do beading, this would be good for like other projects like jewelry making, necklace making, beading, and what sort. Okay. Um, cause I know there's a, like a beading type too, like beading cross stitch. That would probably be good for the beading cross stitch. Um, comes with two different types of tube size and everything. Next one baggies um I know it's in an old iPhone box um yeah baggies is a good solution if you're just getting to starting and you don't know about containers or you're you like baggies I know a couple of YouTubers I know one YouTuber in particular loves baggies Miss us and coffee she likes her baggies. Uh, she also likes another container set. Um, but yeah. I like baggies if the company puts the numbers one through whatever from the kit. Those are awesome. But I don't like to have to make stickers. Like, I just made stickers for this one. This is like, um, 301 is the DMC number and one is the code on the campus. Um, let me show you another one. Like 10. Number 10. So this is the number on the kit. But the let but the DMC code is 550 in the color that are in on the diamond painting is C. Like so this is the C. So I know this is number 10, okay. Oh, my next thing is C. Okay, so which one's that? Number 10, I can easily go grab that back. Um, but other than that, I don't like to keep putting numbers and all that on baggies. Um, so, but baggies is a 5 out of 10 for me. I will use them if I have to, but normally I don't have to. But with this kit, I didn't have a, um, I didn't have a container available. And they already had the numbers, so I was like, well, let, let's go ahead and do it. This is my second time using baggies. And so, yeah, I'm going to do it baggies. Third one. Are these? You can get them. Um, I know that Diamond Art Club used to have them on their site. I don't know if they still do. You can get them from Amazon. AliExpress, I believe Wish has them. I've never ordered any type of diamond, paint, diamond painting accessory or anything from Wish. Um, maybe Etsy, um, but yeah. So these are the, I have another canoe that's kind of open here. These are the smaller of the twist top containers. Um, let me show you some more diamonds in it. Um, so these are good for your smaller projects, like an 8x30 or a, just your smaller diamond paintings, um, that have great detail. Um, 
but the smaller detail, the bigger the detail is, the bigger the canvas you want to get. You don't want it too much detail in a canvas, and you get a small canvas. It's not going to show. It's going to show blurry. I've actually, and I will show you guys that in my diamond paintings video that I have my done diamond paintings because I have a few small ones done already. Um, but yeah, these were my first drill containers I had gotten. And I will rate this as a 7. Because I do like these, but they're not for big projects. Or if you use them for big projects, you're just going to keep filling, filling up that small. And you're going to, yeah, it's just, yeah. You're going to waste a lot of containers by doing that. So, I use these more for my smaller projects. Um, now, if you have a super small project that don't have a lot of colors, like maybe 10 or 16, 10 to 15 colors, you can use these. I don't really like them so much. I don't like them because of this. All the containers are connected. And... Some of them are easy to open. Some of them are open. Yeah. You don't want to. I don't really like these. Um, this is like a, a, my smallest. A smallest diamond paint I have. That don't. Well it's a pretty good decent size. But the detail. I don't think is going to come out on this one so much. I'm not for sure. I have not done this yet. Um, it is just kitted up. Ready to go. When I'm ready to work on it. So. This one is a 2 out of 10. I will use it for the smallest diamond paintings I have. They don't have a lot of colors and stuff. So, but yeah, this one right here, if you have, if it has a lot of colors, but a small diamond paint that you don't need, uh, but you're not going to fill up with the whole container. That's what those are for. More than 30 colors. Um, or more than 15 of them. 15 colors 15 colors not a lot of drills i will put them in these um i have one of these i had another one but i've lost two of the strips so it's missing two strips so technically i can do a painting if i need to um the next container is my harbor freight container um yes, i know this is Scary Cats. This is my Halloween painting I'm working on. I started it last year. I haven't got it finished. You will see that in a uh, currently working on video. That will be coming up soon. So I will show what my work in progress is. So keep, keep a lookout for that video. Keep a lookout also for my stash video. Also keep a lookout for my done stash video done stash videos is this is the video of my diamond paintings already done so these are 24 containers in a box so you get that was fun you get a they'll come in this and they look like this this can actually hold a lot um let's see what look this is for 18 this right here is a half a container. It was full to one point. I actually had to put my extras on the side. And yes, this is a Diamond Art Club. So, and the stickers go on great on them, and they peel off great. Um, so, yeah. And also, when you're working on these, with this one, I like the fact that, let's say... You have loads of diamond paint pens. Like, I have a few. I don't have many, but let's say, okay, I'm getting up this. I want a Pacific diamond paint pen for this kit. I want Pacific tips for this kit. You can go through your tips, say, okay, I want a five placer, I want a three placer, and I want a nine placer and a straightener. Put everything you need in this box. You have it there, you'll be ready to go, and 
just keep it in there and then when you're working on it just put everything back in there you have everything every time you're working on your your kit that's what i like about these so this is a 10 out of 10 i use this this is actually the second kit i've worked on with this and i love them um when i bought them i hadn't i put my first kit in and i started them started it and then i got that kit last year i got these last year um i've only gone up in price a little at harbor free i'm not for sure how much but yeah i like these um another kit i like are only ward containers i own two sets of these um, a 10 out of 10 too, because you can go from size to size, say, you want to put, I think you can fit three bags of three tents in the large containers. I'm talking about diamond art. So you have different sizes, so you can, like, you don't have so much of one color. You don't have to waste a big container, or you can easily put it in a smaller container. So you can do that. So this one was used, the last painting I used this one for was my Diamond Art Club custom when they had custom. Yes, Diamond Art Club did do customs at one point in time. They had gotten rid of them. I'm hoping they will bring them back because the quality of their customs are wonderful. Wonderful. It's better than the one I'm working on now. And believe me, I like cus like customs. Um, because you can get your own pictures if you've taken or let's say your own artwork you've done, done in a custom. So, I don't do artwork that much. I do little sketchy, whatever. So, that's that. Like, I do I don't have that many drill um, storage solutions. Um, this is my last one. It is a um, it came from Craftably. Give me one second. Okay guys, sorry. It's a Craftably container. It holds 160 jars. of the twisties and the small ones so 160 containers in here um, I give this a 10 out of 10 this is my first time using it though I'm using it with my Manny Mazzano Daughter of Peace that has 53 to 50 I think it's 54 colors um so yeah it holds all the drills in there it's yeah you can use it um so 10 out of 10 out of that container one of my favorites so i have three favorite containers i got my craftably container my elizabeth ward and my harbor free those are my three favorite containers storage solutions for my diamond paintings so guys, whichever you guys like, just let me know. If you guys find out better, find better ones, let me know. I'd like to give it a try. Thank you guys. Have a great day.